Hello again, here what we will do. First, we will go to Wikipedia and get from HTML text, links and download a picture. Then, we will go to Netflix and get from JSON information about a movie, ok? What we need? First, we need to get the HTML into our computer. So, for that we need requests, a module called requests. And then, we need to search in that HTML. For that, we will use beautiful soup. And the first thing that we need to do is install requests. Pip install requests, hit enter. Successfully installed. Let me clear the screen and now we will install beautiful soup. Pip install beautiful soup 4, hit enter. Successfully installed. Now we can close this. Let's do the first part, get page data. Import requests, we need requests to get the data from the website. Let me paste here a URL, we will search in Wikipedia and get the response. Response is equals to requests dot get URL. Then we need to get the content from the response. So the page is equals to response dot content. With this we have page data and now we can start using beautiful soup. We go down and we need to import beautiful soup from BS4. Then we declare soup is equals to beautiful soup. We provide the page data and we provide a string html.parser. With this, we can start scrapping the page. And let's say that we want to get the information from here in the news. So we go here to the menu and more tools. And we want to see the developer tools. With this, we click here and we select the element that we want to. This element. This div element contains all the data inside of it. We copy the ID mp-itn copy we go to the code and we declare in the news is equals to soup dot find a div element that have an id equals to mp dash itn so this in the news element have all the information inside of this element in the web page okay now let's say that we want to get text from here and the links that it have we go here and as you can see we have here a ul list we open this and we see that we have li's okay so we want to get the li's inside of in the news element for that we just need to declare a news that is equals to in the news dot find underscore all elements that are li's. Now we want to print the news and the links of the news. For n in news, we want to print n dot get underscore text and also we want to get the links that are equals to n dot find underscore all elements that are anchors. Okay, next for each link in links we want to print the link attribute age ref and after this we want to print a blank line let's test this we open the terminal and we type pi web scrapping html it enter and we got this result we have here the titles of the news and the urls of each link of that news we already got the text and the links from the news now let's get the image Image, this image here. Click here and we click on the image and it selects in the developer tools the image element. As you can see this image element don't have anything that we can search for so we need to go a little up and we have here an anchor for the image and we have here a div element and we have here another div that have the class that is equals to itn dash img. We copy this class, copy. In the code, we declare pick div is equals to in the news dot find the element div that have a class that is equals to itn dash img. Attention here, this class have a underscore in the end. With this, we can declare a picture that is equals to pick div dot find a element img. 
After this, we can get the source of the picture. And by the way, let's print the source. We open the terminal and we run this again. And as you can see, this source doesn't have the HTTPS part of the URL. So we need to add to this source the HTTP part. Okay, close this, comment this, and we make a request asking for the URL HTTPS plus the source that we have here. Next, we will get the file name from the source. File name is equals to source starting at index of the last slash plus one, the next position of the last slash, through the end. Let's print the name. Open the terminal and we run this again. What we have here is this. Let's remove the percentage symbols because when we try to save it it will not work well. Okay, so close this again and we type dot replace percentage with empty string. We open the terminal and we run this again and now we have our name without percentage. Close this again and do the final step that is saving the file. So we type open, we pass the file name, we say that we want to write as binary dot write what is in R dot content. Let me open this here and open the terminal, run this again. Now we have here a new file that is the file in the Wikipedia page. Let's close the terminal and close the image and close this file. Now we will do get movie info from Netflix. Let me hide this. And the first step is importing requests and beautiful soup. Because we will use JSON, we need to import JSON too. And we will need a URL for Netflix and ID of the movie that we want to see. This ID that will be concatenated to the URL of Netflix, you can get it from Netflix when you are watching a movie. In the URL of the movie, you will see after watch slash a number that is the ID of the movie. After this, we just need to do the same thing that we did in the previous case. We get a response from requests.get URL, we get the page content from response.content, and we get a beautiful soup object from the page content and passing the string html.parser. Now we can start searching for things and we will search for a script. So script is equals to soap.find an element script. Let's see the type of the script and we open the terminal, we type pi web scripting instead of HTML it will be JSON, hit enter and we got application slash LD plus JSON. Okay, close this, go a little down, comment this and now let's see the attribute of the script. Open again the terminal and run again. And as you can see, we have here a lot of attributes that we can call. For us, the important part here is the text. We want the text. Comment these and we declare a variable called metadata that is equals to json.loadsscript.text. To help us finding elements in this metadata, I will print here the metadata. Let's open the terminal, run this again, and this is our JSON, okay? So we will get we will get the name of the movie, American Made, the description of the movie, and this is the description, and also we will get the actors, that is a list of person, okay? So we close this and let me comment this and let me paste here the code that will print the name the description and the actors. Open the terminal and let's run this again. And now we have here the title of the movie, we have the description of the movie and the actors. We have here Tom Cruise and others. You can download the source code, the link is in the description of this video. If you find the video helpful, please give it a like, share with friends, it will help me and as always, thank you for watching.